bruh. Look at this dude. Good morning, freaks. It is currently uh, 6 16 a.m. Uh, it is Sunday, October 13th, 2019, and I will be going over what we're gonna do today right after I shower and brush my teeth. Bruh. Look at this dude. Now it's time to get dressed. I completely forgot to do the little transition thing I did with my outfit last time. I promise I'll do it next time. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna get strapped up with the mic and head out. We are mic'd up and ready to go. Currently it is 6.58 a.m. Okay, so basically the entire audio of this upcoming section is fucked up because the red hoodie I was wearing, it has this weird staticky texture that didn't vibe well with the mic I was wearing. So I'm just gonna dub over it. Hey guys, Stupid Dumb Baby 69 here with another vlog. Today's itinerary is as follows. One, we're gonna get breakfast at Tim Hortons. Two, we're gonna review the breakfast from Tim Hortons at my apartment while answering questions from Instagram. Three, we're gonna go to the grocery store and get a pumpkin and some caramel apples. And four, we're gonna carve the pumpkin, review the caramel apples, and answer more questions on Instagram. It actually looks like they're open. Is the sausage turkey sausage on the bacon sausage? I guess. They get a zero out of 10, not because I didn't bother to call ahead or look at the menu, but because they don't have exactly what I wanted when I wanted it. So currently it is 8, 12 a.m. I'm wearing this gray hoodie for when we walk to the grocery store. Got to fit on. Anytime I see someone try to vlog in a store of any kind, they get kicked out. So I'm gonna try and keep this on the low. We get to walk over the highway. There it is, University Foods. Hopefully they have like a carving kit or something I can use because I don't have knives. They didn't have any carving kits or knives or whatever. So I just ended up getting this one pumpkin and two caramel apples. We are going to make this work. I did it, I made it back. I'm gonna clear off my counter so that way we have room for the pumpkin. Here we have it, our very own pumpkin. And here we have something to carve it with, a butter knife. I really doubt this is gonna work, but we're gonna try. We're gonna use a regular old pencil. Yeah, that's not drawing, but it's like kind of etching the outline for what we're gonna cut. So, so we're gonna cut the top out first, and then I'm gonna go to the library to print out the design. We're gonna make a sans jack-o-lantern. <laughs> I'm like terrified, so I'm just gonna punch in every spot around the entire thing until we have a circle. It felt weird bringing this on camera for the first time because on TikTok, if you so much as like show a knife, your video will most likely get removed. Fuck, this is like scary, bro. I know it's a butter knife and I shouldn't be, but it's like this serrated edge, if you push that in hard, that's just gonna hurt. Jesus, fuck, my hands are starting to hurt. Why was it that easy? I'm gonna get a plastic bag or something to get all the gunk out. Are you supposed to like rinse the pumpkin out? We're almost done. I just have like a couple more seeds in here I gotta get out. I think the next step is I have to actually print out a design that I wanna put on the pumpkin. We finished scooping out the guts and separating the seeds. It is 9.25 a.m. and I still haven't eaten, but I'm not hungry. So I'm gonna go to the library and print out a design that we can carve onto this. Not only have I not picked out an image I wanna print out, but I also don't know how big the pumpkin is, so this should be fun. And the library is closed. You have got to be fucking kidding me. It's currently 9.43. I'm just gonna wait until the library opens at 11 to go and print it. It is now 11.02, which means the library should be open, so I can go and print out a picture of Sans to use as a guide to carve the pumpkin. I wanted to make one like one of these, but because all we have is a butter knife and we can't really carve, we can only really hole punch with a straight line. I think an 8-bit one would be a lot easier. That took way longer than it should have, but we got it. Okay, we're back. We got the pumpkin. We got the pictures of sands. We got the butter knives. Let's do this. Well, I just remembered I don't have any tape, so I don't know how we're gonna get this to work, but we will. I think this is what we're doing. This is how we're gonna hold it in place. I'm gonna poke a hole at every corner and then fucking cut to them. All right. I think we've done it. You can't really see it that well, but here we got all the dots. We're gonna use this as a guide to connect the dots together. 
and we're at least just gonna get a design and then we're gonna start carving. There we go, whole pumpkin, face and head is outlined. Nice. Kinda wanna start etching sort of so that way it has like a different shade from the rest of the pumpkin rather than cutting it all the way out. Okay, now this is epic. Holy shit, that looks good. Okay, I think we did it. This was a success. I am fucking proud of this. I just need to take this in for a second because this is, this is beautiful. And now it's time for the moment of truth. Okay, a little underwhelming. We'll get it, we'll get it. Yeah, carving that monstrosity took the life out of me, so I'm gonna rest until dinner time. And by rest, I mean probably look over and edit the footage from earlier today. What's up, guys? It is currently 8.23 p.m. For the past couple of hours, I have been reviewing footage, napping, and taking a midterm for one of my courses. So I am back now, I'm about to go eat because I have a date soon. My dinner, my dinner, my dinner. Now that I'm finished with my dinner, I'm gonna get ready for my date. Big ups. Today, we have Affy Tapple, uh, caramel apples. These shits bang. You cannot go wrong with these drawings on jaw. I'm gonna be eating this and answering Instagram questions. Time you threw up on Instagram Live, you fucking retard. <laughs> I'm not answering any more questions. Fuck you guys. I can't believe how fucking hard these smack. Apple fact, fiber makes you shit yourself. It's like Taco Bell, but in a healthy way. In all seriousness though, I do want to thank you guys for helping my channel grow a lot. I really appreciate it. Okay, now that I finished my caramel apple, let's actually answer some questions. Were you popular in high school? No. How much editing goes into your TikToks? Sometimes a lot, sometimes not a lot. I don't really heavily edit my TikToks. I honestly, it's just a lot of screaming and loud noises. Those are those are pretty funny. Are you a part of the TikTok partnership program and or will you ever attend a TikTok event? No, no, and no. I, I, I fucking know, I don't like TikTok, no. Is poop edible? How much poop you eat on a daily basis? How many poops you take in? Do you season slash prepare your poop? Why have you guys asked so many questions about poop? Because poop is funny. Opinion on Gary Vee. I'm gonna save that for another video. Real question though, what are your goals for YouTube? Low key, I just wanna make a little bit of money, blow up, and get a silver play button. I don't give a fuck about anything but a silver play button. That has been the dream for me since I was a little kid. I always wanted one. I used to have a YouTube channel when I was like 10 years old in fourth grade. I posted terrible videos because I wanted to get famous. Maybe I'll review some of them. I still have them on my old computer. I can go over some of them for a future YouTube video. We'll do one more question. Where do you think TikTok is heading in the future? Unless some world superpower government comes in and shuts them down for some reason, they will continue to grow and they might go down in history as one of the most successful apps of all time. However, they don't offer any predictability or sustainability long-term. Like creators have no idea what will and won't blow up. Creators have no feedback as to why their videos get removed. And there's no way for creators to make money unless you feel comfortable knowing that your income is reliant on a 10 year old's ability to steal their parents' credit card. That's gonna do it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for sending me questions on Instagram. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching me struggle as I try to carve a beautiful jack-o'-lantern with a butter knife. Make sure if you enjoyed this video, you like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys on the flip. Sans and I gotta get to business. Bruh, look at this dude.